Hello, my name is Tridar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a high elven bridge in Minecraft. Let's get started. So let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, it's done in the high elven style that I've done previously, so it's going to match the house and the watchtower and a couple of other things. And of course, it's in the form of a handy bridge. If you have like a big water barrier and a road network, you would like to put a bridge across it you will be able to do that with one of these. Of course, it's, it's a pretty big bridge, but uh, I think it'll suit your needs. It's also going to be modular, so you're going to be able to fit it to pretty much any large body of water you need. It's not really suitable for, you know, like a little small stream, uh, but it's more suitable for if you've got like a really large area that you need to... Let's get out of the boat. Uh, that whoop. Uh, that you need to bridge over. And as you can see here, we've got our road coming down that way, and of course it goes over the water and off in that direction down here. Uh, this is also going to be a combination road tutorial, kind of, uh, because you can see in here, I just have a very simple design for the road. And of course, high elven roads, they've got to be made out of glass. Because we you know, want, uh, want to have a really elegant road. And uh, you can put some half slabs on this if you want to out of something. Maybe uh, m maybe perhaps some cobbled deep slate to match. We don't have glass half slabs, sadly. Or we can make it look a little bit better. Uh, but as you can see here, it's just a standard road design. You know, you just walk over it. Don't have to get your feet wet. And everything. Uh, for the structure of the... The bridge here, I've decided to use the characteristic High Elven Gothic arches. Except I've tried to use them in a more elegant way. I mean, obviously these things here are not structural, they're just ornamental. But the uh, the one in the middle is, it of course is held up beneath here by another uh, delicate arch. And of course we have a number of other arches going off to the side here, providing some additional support as well, and a couple of more here at the entrance to the bridge also. And of course down below here, if we have a potion, we can see that the piers of this can extend down as far as you need to go, depending on the depth of your structure. All you need to do is take uh, this, this uh, section right here and just extend it all the way on down until it gets down to the, the riverbed or the lake bed or whatever you have down there. Uh, so let's continue on with the rest of the tutorial itself. You've seen the dimensions and the materials list. Uh, the dimensions and materials are suitable for this reference model here. If you want to build additional segments or additional depth to the bridge down there, that's going to require more materials than are listed in the description. So uh, you, you may need quite a few more materials depending on your type of bridge. Uh, but this is the one we're going to be taking a look at for the tutorial. It's going to start pretty much at the water level, uh, going just a little bit down. But as you can see here, I've, I've taken that one out of the water and dropped it over here. So you can see, you, know, you can extend this just as far down as you need to go. It's just got the repeating patterns it's going straight up and down, so it's not going to be an issue. And all you have to do is extend, uh, just put as many of these little these little modules here underneath the piers of the bridge. Uh, now, if you have perhaps a shorter bridge, um, or rather a shorter amount of water, you can use this smaller design here. For this one, all you have to do is build uh, two, you, ha you have to build, uh, what, from here to right there, and then just stop there and mirror that again. And you would get this little bridge here. So like I said, it, it's in modules. You can see if you just split this down the middle here, you can just mirror it and that would give you a bridge like this. Or conversely, if you have a larger body of water, instead of stopping here, you can build another middle section and then a second middle section and then another end section down here to get a longer bridge. Or just as many modules as you need. Perhaps you want a four... Uh, 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 archway bridge here. 
it'd be uh, what uh, it'd be uh, two uh, end modules and three middle modules like you see here just for as many modules as you need for however long you need your bridge to be and so if we go down here and take a look at that we can see we've got a uh, starting module right here and then we've got a middle module right here you can see it's separated right along the central archway right there and then you've got just a mirrored uh, end module down here as well so we've got two ends and a middle right here so for the first bridge you would just have two ends and then you could have two ends and a middle two ends and two middles two ends and three middles just two ends and however many middles you would need to make however long a bridge you would need uh, so hope that made some sense uh, but you can uh, piece together uh, from these pieces I'm providing to you just exactly how many bridges you uh, bridge parts you need to get over your particular uh, span and uh, before we get away from that let's go back here and make a note of uh, where we're gonna have the water line at uh, now that's gonna vary depending on how far you want to build your bridge I only have the ro the roadway here is only two blocks above the water level not counting these little curbs for half slabs here just like that and then the bridge starts here and it's gonna start roughly at the uh, the second level of uh, cobbled deep slate right down from the top so let's see so if we go back here to the reference model and take a look at that that means the water line is going to be around there so for this we would be starting uh, what one two three four blocks uh, down in the water and this would be just at the the surface of the water right right there I think it's good that would, that would be the line where the uh, obsidian and cobbled deep slate meet also want to say if you don't want to use the obsidian for this bridge a perfectly uh, good substitute for this is going to be uh, blackstone is what I would suggest that you use for that instead all right so let's go over here we're going to do the usual thing uh, with our bridge we're going to take a look at all of these in detail so we're probably going to take a look at I think a one end module and a center module and as you saw over there that is all the parts that you're going to need to know how to build uh, and for this I have replaced uh, the glass with uh, these blocks here right here uh, so so these blocks here they're just the 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 smooth um, what um, they're like if you would uh, stack up the smooth stone slabs but then have them be seamless what these blocks are but they're they're meant for you to be uh, for uh, you to replace them with the light blue stained glass that you see here just like that and as we go the roadway pattern is going to be the same along the central section here if you want to build a roadway all you have to do is lay down uh, maybe a bedding of sandstone and then a row of uh, cobbled deep slate and then we want to, want to do this pattern here and then just put some curbs on the top of it to get the glass roadway surface like that here all right so I'm gonna need a bit of uh, red wool and carpet in order to do some counting come here there we go uh, so uh, let's start over here so this is going to be the level at which the road surface starts uh, back down over here and remember the the water is going to be um, what well, well depending on where you want to start your bridge if you want to perhaps start your water level back down here instead depending on your topography it's it's really hard for me to tell you exactly how to fit the bridge into your topography because as you can see behind me here everybody is going to have a, a different body of water they want to cross so so the best I can do is just show you the patterns that you can build and I'm afraid you're gonna have to try and figure it out from there 
uh, but I still think this will be useful to you. Uh, so we're going to start right down here, and here's the, the first pattern with the cobbled deep slate and uh, the, the blocks here that you should be replacing with glass. I should also say if you want to use a different color of glass other than the one I've chosen, other than the light blue, if you like purple or, or something like, or maybe a little green or something, you can do that, and maybe you can make your bridges and roads uh, more multicolored. If you wanted to use more than one color of stained glass, you can make like a stained glass elven bridge, like more of a kaleidoscope type effect. That would look really neat if you, if you wanted to, to do that on your bridge. But I will leave that uh, the exact details up to you. Uh, now, after you place this first little part here, we need to count out uh, the, the placements for the piers. Uh, so from here, let's count out 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22 blocks to get to right there. And on the 23rd, 4th, 5th, 7th, and 8th blocks is where we would want to place down uh, the, first, um, the first row here. And I probably should have made this straight here. Let's count out straight from there. So it's on the 22nd block is right here. And then we want to turn and go over for, I guess what, one, two more blocks and place down your first two blocks of obsidian. And then you can see here the pattern with the endstone bricks and the obsidian here, or the blackstone. So that's going to be the first footing for your pier. And then just straight over from that, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks, you want to build another identical pier base right there. All right, and then for the measurements for the, the middle module, we want to go and count out for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks, and place down this pattern right here for the central pier. And uh, the other ones should be the same distance apart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11 blocks. Let me count that again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks. Okay. Alright, so get a little altitude there. Uh, so as you can see, the central piers are going to be just a little bit farther apart than uh, the ones we had to start with, just right here. And then let's go ahead and count out the next uh, the next span in the middle. That's going to be counting from here, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 25, blo 25 blocks to get to that point right there, whereupon you just place another two identical piers to these right here. Just place two more there. And then you can see if we if you drew a little center line right down the middle, you would see that all you need to do from that point onwards is repeat the, uh, the numbering to build the other end, the two smaller piers and then the road gateway itself. And uh, while I'm in the process of doing this, I will say that one of the things I'm going to go back and do uh, for the, for the video in the materials list, uh, I'm going to give you some dimensions that you're going to need for the starting modules. I'm going to give you from here to back down right here for the bridge starting modules. I'm going to give you the materials and the length for that, the length for one starting module, and then starting here, remember we're, we're splitting these right down the middle, with, the, with these two blocks. It doesn't really have a center line exactly. It doesn't have a one block center line. It's, it's, the center line is going to be between between those two blocks. But I'm going to give you from here going back down to here the materials and dimensions for a middle module for, for the length of that. So you can uh, so you can figure out exactly how many um, I mean, you're only only ever going to need two starting modules, but depending on the length of your bridge, you may need more than one middle module, so that you can get the length right 
for that one, I'm going to go back and add those materials. But let's continue on with the tutorial. Uh, so here is the next block level up. You can see we're adding our little curb of sandstone, chiseled sandstone and the slabs. And then beside that here, we've got the next level up of the glass and the cobbled deep slate. It's one block level up here. All right, here's the next level for the pier right there. These piers are going to be exactly the same on either side, so I'm just going to show you one of them. And here's the next pier for that one. And of course, you'd want to build the matching two piers down there, the other matching two piers down there for the end, and the other side of the uh, roadway. So let's uh, go on here, take a next look at uh, this section here. Building up our uh, sandstone curb and the next level up for our glass. Now, like I said, if you want to, you could place some half slabs here of something uh, right there on your bridge. We don't have glass. We do have cobbled deep slate half slabs, I think. We don't have glass half slabs, so you might just, you know, you might just end up placing cobbled deep slate slabs. Uh, so let's take a next look at the pattern for the pier, for the small piers, both of those, and here for the large piers. Just going right on top of what we first measured out. Or down into the water, depending on uh, where you're starting your bridge at. All right, let's take a look at the next level here for the glass. And the sandstone curb. And the next level up here for the piers. Just like so. All right. The next level up here for the pattern for the glass and the sandstone. And the cobbled deep slate. Uh, back over here now we have a bit more for the piers. Now remember for the piers, from here to here is a repeating pattern. So we're just continuing up the pattern that you previously built. Same thing for these, there to there, it's just a repeating pattern. So you've got a little module that we're going to be stacking up. Now from this point onwards, if you've already gotten uh, the, the height of your water level correct, I think for the reference model for that one that we looked at over there, the water is going to be, I think it's going to be about here. So you may already be extending this down into the water, or you may uh, have started up here. You, you'll, you'll have to bridge over and then just uh, start your, your blocks and then extend them down to where they will meet down on the bottom of the riverbed. It's a little frustrating to try to and describe that because um, at bridges in general like this because like you've seen everyone's everyone's topography is going to be different so the best I can do is show you the patterns and you're going to have to do some some more of the problem solving uh, on your own. I can't I can't anticipate that for everyone so uh, here is the rest of the detail for the next section of the bridge for the glass and everything. And just extend up, just repeat the pattern here for the piers right there. Uh, so next level up here for the ramp, for the on-ramp to your bridge. And then there for the piers. All right, next level up here for the glass detailing for the on-ramp and then again here for the piers. You can more clearly see how just we have a simple repeating pattern on this, so it's nothing too complicated. Uh, next level up here for the glass and everything. And then here for the piers, we now have something now have something different because we have the arches, the, the graceful arches that we have our bridge sitting on. We're now going to be forming those. So just right on top of that, you've got uh, this pattern here, just a couple of blocks of endstone bricks and a block of cobbled deep slate right there. And then if we split our bridge down the middle, it's symmetrical, so you want to mirror that design here on the other side there. So I'll just show you that from the top down. And here it is for the middle right there. So let's take a closer look at this side here. So we have our, our lower uh, structural arch here beginning to hang over there by a couple of blocks. 
And then we have our uh, transverse arches being formed with the um, endstone bricks right here. All right, uh, next portion for the on-ramp right here. And then, uh, let's see. Let's take a look at uh, the side sections now. Just got a couple blocks hanging out there in midair. Right there, try and swing all the way around this so you can see it. And you want to mirror that design just right over here. Because from here, if we draw, we draw our center line down the bridge, and you can see what we're building over here. We're just mirror imaging that on the other side of the center line right there. All right, let's take a look at uh, the central section here. Let's just swing all the way around that. I don't think you'll have any trouble counting the blocks or everything. And then just take that pattern and mirror it on the other side there. And of course, continue to build the other side of it over here. And then the rest of your on-ramp over there. All right, uh, next phase. We got quite a few phases to get through. I'm going to shove all this into one part, though. Uh, I don't think it's a multi-part tutorial. It's not, it's not quite big enough for that. Uh, so next level here. Maybe if I get down to a more oblique view. Right here, we can see uh, it's connecting with our pier. So that's going to be helpful. Right there, we do have some half slabs coming in. Right here, we have just, just a, a bit of elegant half slab detail. It's not all a full block bridge. We do have some stairs and half slabs to work in here and there. Right there. And then, of course, we just mirror that on the other side of the bridge here. All right, let's take a look at the central section. Right here, we have this hanging over a block. And then we have our transverse arches extending outwards. Like so, and then mirror that one right over there. All right, next level up, let's take a look here at the on-ramp. Let's start here with the glass part. And then let's take a look at the connecting parts right here. Of course, you remember we have a little ornamental arch over our on-ramp. And that's the lowermost portions of that that we're building now. Just like so. And then the next section, let's start here in the middle, build out our arch first. Just one, uh, these blocks just go right on top of those. And build the middle section first here. And then let's take a look at uh, the end caps of the uh, transverse arch that we're building. All right, and then just mirror that over there and uh, build it two more times down there for the rest of the bridge, and we will go on to the next phase.
quite a few phases to get through. We're going to make pretty rapid progress once we get above the road deck, though. Um, so here, let's start here with this glass part. And then let's take a look at uh, the details here. I'll try not to swing around too fast, but remember the um, it should be uploaded in high enough quality for you to be able to pause at uh, at various intervals and it still be clear and everything. So now you can always slow down the playback speed as well if you need to. All right, let's take a look here at the, the middle section. Start with this. Our arch here is overhanging another block. Right there, and this part here is just going straight up. And then we're building out our uh, transverse arch here a bit more. A couple more phases, it'll be connecting with itself. Just like so there, and then build the mirror image copy of that on the other pier, and uh, the rest of the bridge according to the same design. All right, next phase, let's start uh, here with the cobblestone and the glass. And then let's take a look at uh, these sections here. Just a couple of blocks and half slabs right there. And then over here we can see our arches are getting just about ready to touch each other. Right there, so let's move to the central arch. We're hanging over another block. Right there. And then going straight up right here. And then building a bit more of the transverse arch out here. Right there, and of course the other end of that is exactly the same. And we're getting ready to meet in the middle. So let's go on to the next phase here. Build uh, this section of the road deck. Sandstone for the curb and this little part of the archway down here. All right, and then back down here, we can see this is all connecting now. Well, you know, kind of. Just like so. And, uh, hmm. I don't think there was anything directly underneath here that we missed taking a look at, but I'll lower down. Take a good look at it. And here's the middle section of the archway. It's almost touching. It's just hanging over one more block on either side there. And then this is just going straight up for the meantime. And then out here we are building out the transverse arch again. And it's getting ready to gracefully meet in the middle. All right, I think that's all there is on that. Let's go back over to the next phase. Let's start up here and build this section of the road deck. 
It's going to be, uh, what, six blocks long according to this pattern here. And then uh, here's a bit of the curb right there. Let's go down here. Our archway is now touching back down here. So just a couple of blocks to place right there. Uh, this is just going straight up. Uh, and right here, this all meets right here in the middle of six blocks of cobbled deep slate and two uh, end stone blocks right there. End stone bricks. And then here our arch uh, gracefully, gracefully touches right in the middle, just right there. Five blocks of cobbled deep slate, four blocks of end stone bricks, and four um, sandstone slabs. All right, uh, next phase. So we uh, can install our sandstone curbs right here. And then right over, uh, starting here, and then going until uh, what? Well, let's see. To do the first part of the middle, the, the, uh, the middle module, that's going to be dividing itself right along through here. Remember, we have uh, the center line occurs in, in between these two blocks on that line right there. So this is going to be the end of the road deck for the um, um, uh, for for the the starting module. I don't, I don't have a good name for this. Should have thought of a name before I started the the video. But for the first end of the bridge, that's going to start right there. So here is the pattern for that. And then from here, when you get on down to the rest of the bridge, according to whatever the lengths are that I gave you, uh, you can see here the, the bridge, uh, the, the roadway for the bridge is just this very simple repeating pattern. Like once you build from one, two, three, four, five, five blocks there, it's just a simple repeating pattern, five blocks wide, just, you know, repeat it and go on for as long as you need to uh, to match up with the uh, the other end of your bridge down down here alright so uh, I will leave you to do that and then let's come over here and take a look we have just a little connecting point right here for the bridge just four blocks of cobbled deep slate with this section here on either side Right there for a little, you know, a little structural support. And then uh, back down here, we have to take a look at uh, the, the the details for um, this arch right here, for our little entrance arch. Right there. All right, I hope all that made sense. Uh, sometimes things can be difficult to describe, but I always try my best. Uh, let's start down here. Uh, again, so just two blocks of chiseled sandstone and one slab right there. That's all there is to that. And then for the bridge, just go ahead and put on your sandstone curb on both sides all the way across. And then extend uh, extend this up, just straight up for all four of those, or depending on however many modules you have. All right, next section, we are finishing this off now, which is two stairs right there for the characteristic uh, decorative uh, high elven uh, uh, finial. Okay, and the next section for that is just to extend this up right here again, all four or however many you have of those. Like so, and uh, that... that um, uh, the ends here are going to be finished with that, by the way. So that's going to be uh, the uh, the end part of the bridge done. Now we just have to focus here. The last part. Now we've done uh, we've done the on ramp. We've done the structural support. We've done the arches, the transverse arches, and the roadway. Uh, the rest of the tutorial is going to be building up the decorative arch here in the middle of the bridge. 
So let's take a look at the pattern for that. Right there. And let's go another block level up and take a look at it again. Like so. And the next level up from that. Remember, we have the arch in the middle, and then we have two arches leaning out on either side, just for decoration. Because, you know, it's a nice, elegant, high oven bridge, so it's got to have some superfluous decoration to it. All right, uh, next block level up from that. I think this block uh, is pretty much just going straight up from the previous one that we did. Next level after that, though, we can see the uh, the three arches starting to separate out from each other. Like so, next level up from that. And of course you're just mirroring it on the other side of the center line like we've been doing with the, the whole bridge up to this point. Uh, next level here, we'll start in the middle. And then we'll take a look here at the end caps. All right, next level up, starting in the middle here. All right, next level up, we're in the home stretch now. All right, next level up again, starting in the middle. And then here we're connecting the uh, two uh, leaning decorative arches out here now, right there in the middle. Take a look from below. Next level up from that, we're almost connecting this right here in the middle now. And we're putting on our decorative finial right here, two, two, uh, two chiseled blocks and a slab right there on both ends. And then to finish those off, you want to put two stairs on top of those. And then connect your arch here in the middle. Put those blocks right there. And then uh, to cap the entire thing off is just two standard blocks of cobbled deep slate right there, depending on however many arches that you've made in your bridge. And then after that, your high elven bridge will be complete. 